This is George with Melnix Automotive. In this video, I'll show you how to recalibrate or how to wake up a module or reset the module for front and rear parking sensors. We went ahead and repaired 2018 Honda Odyssey Touring Elite, and uh, we went ahead and replaced the sensors. You'd, a lot of times you have to do this, but not every time. So you can see there's a parking sensor here. There's another sensor right in here. And there's also few sensors on the back. I'm going to take you and show you. There should be a total of four sensors. There's one, two, three, and four. All right, so I don't have any wiring issues whatsoever. But I'm going to show you. As soon as I activate my... As soon as I activate... Here's my... Uh, parking sensor activation button as soon as I activate my sensors it's gonna give me a uh, fall it's gonna say check this out I'm gonna turn it on and it says parking sensor system problem we don't have any problem whatsoever with this vehicle and you can see the light is flashing it's a no-go so I'm gonna show you instructions how you could program this without taking it to the dealer I called the dealer one hundred ten dollars just diagnostics uh, fee, but there's no fault whatsoever. All you have to do is just wake up the module or reset the module uh, to get those sensors to work. So check this out. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off right now. If you have this turned off, there's no message, no nothing on the screen. So I have instructions here how you have to get this thing, uh, uh, how you have to do it to get it wake uh, to wake it up. So what you need to do right here, as you can see. Turn the vehicle on, press the parking brake uh, backup sensor with switch 10 times within 10 seconds, and uh, it also tells you the, the, the button will be blinking. Uh, then you have to turn the vehicle off. You got to press and hold uh, the button again for about 10 seconds, and you can look at the diagram. You have about approximately 10 seconds uh, time, okay? And once you, once you go ahead and do that, you gotta just turn ignition back on. You have to wait about 10 seconds. And if everything is good, you're gonna get a, like a little buzzer noise uh, or a chime for about two seconds. And then you go you know, just resume with your normal on off switch. You can turn it on or turn it off. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do the procedure. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and since my vehicle is running, I'm gonna turn it off. Okay, I turned it off, as you can see, everything's going to bed. Okay, so now I'm not gonna start the vehicle, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna turn ignition on, just to get my cluster lit up, and I'm gonna press this button 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ten go ahead and uh, turn ignition off now I'm gonna press and hold the button for approximately 10 seconds and I'm gonna turn ignition on okay, I'm gonna try to use my camera I had to use my camera edge of my camera to turn on ignition as you could see, I'm holding for about 10 seconds, it's flashing. And bingo. As you could see, my message went out, it's gone. I'm going to turn ignition off. And once I turn ignition on, my sensor should be functioning. So I'm going to go ahead and start the vehicle now, after the procedure. And there was a little chime, it just was difficult for me to hold the camera and try to catch everything so as you could see my parking light uh, parking sensor system is working it's not flashing anymore it's it's solid green there's no message and look I could turn it off and now watch I'm gonna turn it back on watch this there's no more warning on my thing now watch if I put the car in, in gear I'm gonna put it in gear, and I'm gonna have somebody go and stand in the front of the car. There you go. You can see, it's working. 
Well, that's it for this video. That's how you calibrate any parking uh, sensor issue that you might have on uh, newer Honda vehicles. This will work on 2000, I think 2014 and up Acura MDX. If you have this issue, these are the instructions. You don't have to pay for them. You don't have to buy them. Dealer, like I said, will charge you at least $110. Because that's what I was told today. I called before I did this procedure. I called the dealer and they told me to bring it in and they were going to charge me $110 to take a look at the car. So that's the instructions. Once again, thanks for watching. This was George with Melnix Automotive.